we're going to look at a slightly more advanced way that you can use conditions in a rule. And in particular, the use case that we're going to try to solve is automatically assigning issues when they're created based on some criteria. Uh, so the example that I'm going to use is when uh, issues of different types are created, I want to assign it to specific users. So let's jump in again and pick our trigger as our first building block for this rule. So I'm going to pick the issue created trigger again, because um, once again, we want to run this rule when an issue is created. We want to assign it immediately after creation. Next, we need to pick a condition again. But this time, I'm going to use this special type of if else block condition here, which allows us to do some um, branching in this rule, depending on which condition matches. So with our first if block, I can add any type of condition again. Uh, so we're going to use an issue field condition again, very similar to our first rule, uh, and check that if this is a task, then let's assign this issue to a specific user. Uh, so perhaps if it's a task, let's assign this issue to John. And once again, if you look at the summary on the left here, it gives you a nice little overview of what, what is exactly going to happen with this rule. So that's our first if condition done. Uh, but what if I want to do something else uh, for bugs? Uh, maybe we have a particular person in our team that's uh, our bug master and any bug should be assigned to them. So I can add another um, else if block here that will check, okay, if it's not a task, then if it's a bug, let's go ahead and assign that issue uh, perhaps to myself because I'm the bug master this week. And now finally, if it's not one of either of these issue types, maybe you want to add a condition that then just assigns it to a group of people that are predefined in this rule. So we can add an else block here and then simply add an assign issue action, which uh, I can specify with a more advanced way of assigning. So one thing you'll notice in these actions in automation for Jira is that quite often we've added quite a bit of power on top of the basic Jira function. So in Jira, normally when you assign issues, you can only assign them to individual users. But what I can do here is actually um, assign this issue to a list of users. So I've picked myself, John and Nick here uh, with the balanced workload algorithm. And what this basically means is that when an issue is created that falls into this block in this rule, automation will check how many issues do the three of us have a time assigned to each other have assigned to um, us at the moment and then basically pick the person with the least number of issues assigned to them currently and assign that issue to them so that we get a nice balanced workload across these three uh, folks in our team so let me go ahead and uh, save this rule and try it out Okay, so let's come back to our board here and create a new issue. And so first let's create another task here, which should get assigned to John. So again, I can jump back to the rule, look at our audit log. We can see our first execution here. We can see that it matched the first if log and then we assigned this to a user. And in fact, if I come back to the board now, you can see that John has been picked as the assignee already. But what if I now create a issue of another type? So let's say we create an epic here, which should fall into the balanced uh, assign method. So if I reload this uh, rule audit log again, we can see another execution now. And we can see here that we uh, fell into the else block this time, and it should have now assigned this issue using our balanced algorithm. And in fact, this time it picked Nick from that list of users and assigned it to them. So again, all we've done here is really just combined the different building blocks that we have available in automation um, in a slightly different way, but we've solved actually quite a complex use case within JIRA. Uh, we're conditionally assigning issues and then even assigning issues that don't match anything using a balanced workload given a list of users. So this is something that could actually be quite useful uh, in a, you know, uh, support support kind of uh, point of view where you want to maybe assign new support cases from customers to 
members of your team in a balanced workload. Okay, one last thing that I want to show you with this rule is that um, currently this rule is only running in this software playground project that we're in. But what if you wanted to reuse this logic or what if you wanted to use this across all of your software projects? Or maybe you wanna use it both in your software and your service test project because you have the same teams working on two projects. Well, luckily with automation, you can very easily reuse automation rules across projects and even globally in JIRA. So I can just jump into the global admin section of this JIRA instance uh, and then navigate to the auto assign new issues rule that we have just created. And now as a global administrator, I can actually modify the scope of this rule. So right now it's defined as a single project rule in our software playground project. But I can actually as a global administrator change this to be a global rule that runs in all projects or I could um, set it as a multi-project rule that runs perhaps just in these two projects that I've picked now. And finally, I could even set this up so it runs in any software project or any service desk project. So this is a really, really um, powerful way to quickly reuse this automation rule logic across your teams and across your projects. So it really saves you a lot of time. You don't have to recreate these automation rules over and over again.